Hello, Polygoners! Welcome to another daily cast. Today we've got an exciting Zerg vs. Terran for you that's going to really showcase the best that zone control has to offer. We'll get into those details in a moment. Right now I want to introduce the blue Terran player on the top left hand side of Bizzle Reef. He is a member of G-Play. He is Archangel! And here on the bottom right hand side of that map, he's already going for a weird build. I want to talk about it. But first, he's the Red Zerg playing for Team Meltdown. It's Stefano! So, as you may notice, Stefano's already gone for two extractors. That's a huge investment in tech. He's also gone for a second uh production building which is the roach warren just finished right now this means a very heavy investment in army very heavy investment in technology we will definitely be seeing some kind of roach all in maybe even including some of those oh so bad ravagers those motherfuckers are bad to the bone um terran actually playing really kind of greedy right now a lot of the times uh skipping the reaper or going for like mass reaper styles going for a roach warren is great in either case and we are seeing the ravagers morphing um but the reason it's great is because the usual follow-up right now is hellions and if you don't go reaper hellion you're going to get ling bane ling all in but if you try to go for the hellions the ravagers the roaches can really do uh knock down any kind of uh defense you have and break through these really not so well defended positions that Terran has, but they um, usually have like a, a geographic and zone control bonus. The Ravager breaks that, as you can see with the, the Ravage shots going down, already uh, doing some sick damage to the reactor, but Stefano can actually see up here with the Overlord. So really what he's doing is using the Ravager shots against these buildings right now and just backing away trying not to take too much damage on the ravagers meanwhile he's morphing more and more ravagers once he's going to get more of these ravagers he's going to do exactly the inverse but we'll talk about that in a moment just notice right now he's still continuing to uh try to drop the ravage shots on buildings but it's getting closer and closer to the units the more ravagers he's making and now he's knocked down this first uh little wall off and he's able to get into the natural geographic location. He's going to move up to the north to get a better angle here and uh, be able to get this barracks. This will also uh, help him zone this top ramp. Now, he's not really going to try and do anything crazy except to try to snipe this barracks until this overlord gets in position. Now he's getting vision of these depots. And this is where it gets really interesting. Notice that the reapers come through and try to drop their KD-8 charges, their own little form of zone control. But now the Ravage shots are keeping the Reapers back away from being able to actually attack the Ravagers. And this means that no damage is being done. He's taking all these this damage in the buildings and even got supply blocked there for a few moments. Stefano actually able to brute force his way to the top of this ramp. And it's brilliant because all he is doing is using Ravager shots, which are notoriously bad for missing, to create a an opportunity for one volley of attacks from the Ravagers. And that's really all it took to break down this front location. Because again, Terran doesn't necessarily have a lot of defense. It's just one or two units. Like one tank on the high ground can do a great job defending. But once you can get up close to it, break down the wall in front of it, it's no problem killing it. And that's what the Overlord Ravager combination is really well known for doing. Stefan, of course, getting into that combination way faster than players are used to, and Archangel just kind of getting taken completely off guard. I know this wasn't the most uh, you know even-handed game, rather one-sided, but these players are both very, very good. I just wanted to demonstrate to you guys really the power of zone control. I am Shaft of Polygon Gaming. If you like this content, please smash that like button, smash that motherfucking subscribe button, and, uh, you know, if you really like this content, you can go donate at least $1 to us on Patreon. Every dollar counts, and even $1 will start earning you Patreon rewards. Please visit the link in the description for more information. See you next time, guys. Chatelet, my dudes. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.